So what are some of the design properties of a service? Now, when we think about product design, we know what the parameters are that we can sort of shape and mold. We can play around with size, we can play around with weight, we can play around with texture, we can play around with the durability of a material. And um, that's really tangible and that's really easy to grasp for people. And for a designer, they know what the properties are of those different things. If you make a too heavy phone or you make it twice as big, then it becomes a tablet rather than a phone. So if we ask the same question around services, what are the design properties uh, of service as a design material? One of the things is the tempo and the rhythm. Now, this has been addressed in episode number 27 with Marcus Louis of, um, on the Service Design Show. And we talked about tempo and rhythm and how the rhythm uh, of a service in Hong Kong is different than maybe in Brazil. And what sparked me to create a video about this is the book Good Services by Lou Down, who was also a guest on the show, by the way. And in that book, uh, Lou describes how uh, the tempo of a service is um, determined by the number of decisions you have to make in that process, which is really an interesting idea to, to think about services and designing them in that way. I think uh, we don't talk enough about the design properties of services as a design material. And um, just a simple example is like food delivery. What, what should be the speed of, of, the, of the music when being in a fancy restaurant versus fast food takeaway? It's still both the service of eating or food delivery, but the tempo is completely different. So I think digging into these kind of aspects and understanding that those are uh, the things that you can design that you can play around with that those are the knobs that you can turn um, makes it makes our craft of designing a service uh, or designing for a service um, more tangible more easy um, and this also for instance applies to designing workshops whether they are offline or online what is the rhythm in your workshop? Like, is it a constant, um, constant flow? Or are you speeding up in the beginning and then going into a sort of uh, relaxed jazz mood and then at the end speeding up again? Or again, just to say that uh, thinking about tempo and rhythm as a, something that you can play around with when designing for services is, I think, a really good thing. And, um, I think it was chapter eight in the book of Lou Down, Good Services. So check that out. And if you, I, I'm, I've been referring to services uh, and the music analogy a lot. So if you wanna know what the relationship is between services and music even more, check out this video uh, because we're going to continue the conversation over there. See ya.